Hello, I'm Edward Asner. Do you have a scientific or technical background in areas such as astronomy, mathematics, electronics, computer programming, chemistry? If you do, Recording for the Blind urgently needs your help to record college-level textbooks for blind and visually disabled students. If you can give two hours a week, please call 213-664-5525 for more information. That's 213-664-5525. I lost my sight when I was uh, 17 and uh, a few years ago, and that's, that's about when I started using RFB, mm. and a couple years ago when I entered the broadcasting program at school, uh, I had this professor who, he kind of didn't want me in the class and said that there, was, there were too many books to read. Mm -hmm. And so I told him that I already had the book on tape. Pardon me. Uh... Can I help you, young lady? Yes, I'm looking for computer science, 2A. Computer science? Yes. Well, this is computer science, 2A. Uh, are you sure you're scheduled for this class? I'm quite sure. Listen, don't misunderstand what I'm about to tell you, but uh, computer science, 2A, is an advanced computer class. Difficult, even for normal people, let alone a handicapped person like yourself. You know, I've been called a lot of things before, but this is the first time I've ever been called abnormal. I guess you'll just have to take my word for the fact that I'm quite normal, and furthermore, I'm not handicapped. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean abnormal. I meant that, well, for a person that can't see... Look, this is a very difficult class. There's a lot of note-taking, there's... Six tutorials that need to be read and understood. There's three textbooks we need to complete by the end of the semester. Uh, how are you going to handle all that? Quite simply. I use a tape recorder to record the lecture, and I also have a note taker, which I use on occasion. And as far as the tutorials and the textbooks are concerned, there's recording for the blind. They'll either have the books in the library or they'll record them for me as I need them. Then there's the adapted computers in your class. Um, so with all of that, I, I don't really think I'll have a problem in this course, do you? No. No. I think you'll do just fine. In fact, you might even serve as an inspiration to some of the other students. I'm not here to be an inspiration, sir. I'm here to learn computer science. And so what I did is I ran home and I called RFB and I gave him the list of, I think it was like five books that we needed for this just one class. So it was and quite RFB, a few books. RFB wow. had them all and they mailed them out and I got them like that next week. And yeah, it was great. Amazing. It was that's great. Amazing. And I got an A in the class. So I showed him. <laughs> yeah. Dorian, we've just begun. My guide dog helps me travel safely. 
but when I need a textbook that hasn't been Braille, I call Recording for the Blind and Dyslexic. They were there for me when I attended UCLA, and now I want to thank them by asking for your help. So if you can volunteer to record textbooks for students with print disabilities, please call Recording for the Blind and Dyslexic at 1-800-RFB-TEXT. Thanks. Hi, my name's Rachel. Four years ago, I got pregnant. I was only 20 and scared about my future. I decided to keep my baby and continue my education as a single mom. I cannot express the incredible joy of being a mom and having her in my life has been to me and to everybody in this world. If I had had an abortion, I would not know this joy. I am very glad with my decision to choose life. There was a time in my life that I wished I'd been born blind. I know how shocking that must sound. How could anyone wish to be blind? Well, I don't mean that exactly. What I mean is that when people see you're blind, they know you're disabled. Let me explain. I was diagnosed as having dyslexia in my senior year in high school, after which I started receiving special education from the school. That included recorded textbooks from Recording for the Blind. There were other positives that I received, such as understanding rather than being considered slow or just plain stupid. Even my own parents thought of me as lazy when it came to schoolwork. You see, if, if I'd been blind, people would have thought of me as disabled rather than uh, stupid, lazy, or slow. I remember one incident in particular. It happened in... Uh, it must have been the fifth or sixth grade in grammar school. The teacher was going around the room and calling on the kids to uh, read a paragraph and comment on it. I couldn't do it, so she kept me after school. Hello, this is Steve Allen. Do you have a scientific or technical background in areas such as astronomy, mathematics, electronics, computer programming, chemistry? If you do, Recording for the Blind urgently needs your help to record college-level textbooks for blind and visually disabled students. If you can give just two hours a week, please call 213-664-5525 for more information. That's 213-664-5525. Hello, I'm Lou Rawls. You know, each year thousands of intelligent students fail to achieve the academic potential, and it's because of learning disabilities like dyslexia. They cannot read printed books, and many have discovered that recording for the blind and dyslexic audio books can make a tremendous difference in their lives. Now, you can help make educational books on tape by volunteering just two hours a week. If you would like to help those students succeed in school, call the RFBND studio in your area right away today. <laughs> 